the coolest place you've ever seen in your whole life. I'm so jealous of Frank. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so jealous right now, <laughs> but this place is so fucking cool. It's in a, he lives in a yurt in the middle of some redwoods. Like, can we all just do that? Oh my god. I'm visiting Frank in his new place. He told me that he moved and uh, holy shit, this place is like the coolest property I've ever been on. And he gets to live here and I'm so happy for him and jealous, but really happy. Cause then I can come visit him. And also like, I just think that this living situation is gonna be really good for him to get back into nature, kind of separate himself from the city for a little bit and just like have a lot of time to heal. And what a better place to heal than this in the middle of the redwoods. I mean, this, yurt that he lives into is absolutely beautiful it looks like the camera is crooked right now but it's like angled outward and then back up so it's got a pretty big floor plan and it's like yurt shaped circular and all made out of wood so it just has a really rustic nice feel to it. it's not like a cloth tent type of yurt the skylight is awesome just provides like a lot of natural lighting in the room and I don't know I I gotta find me a place like this I tell you what the hike up here though is no joke it took us like 10 or 15 minutes to walk up here last night with all my shit and it's like I brought so much stuff up here that I'm probably not even gonna use I was sweating my ass off it made me really realize how I haven't been working for a couple months and I'm out of shape so this week I will be getting back into shape. <laughs> cool thing too is that I'm pretty close to Santa Rosa right now and I have an interview today up there. So fingers crossed that that goes well and your girl gets a job soon cause I'm like kind of losing my mind not working right now. I've only worked for two, two and a half months out of this year so far. And I need to work or I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Such a beautiful, misty morning here. Wow. Last night was amazing here. It rained for, I think like four hours or something. It wasn't super hard, but it was the first time I think I've seen consistent rainfall like that this summer which is pretty bad, but it was amazing in the yurt. It was just like pitter pattering on the roof and I just fell right asleep. It was, I haven't had that in a really long time, you know, just like hearing the rain put you to sleep. We were at the hot tub down at the communal house and it just started pouring down rain. And then there was some lightning, which was scary at first, but it mostly just turned into really wet rain which is much needed and 
it was fun. I was just <laughs> running around in the rain <laughs> like a little kid. Now we have such a beautiful foggy morning and it looks like the sun's gonna come out pretty soon too so that'll be really nice. It's so beautiful here. I can't even describe it. It's probably one of the coolest it's probably the coolest property I've ever seen someone I know live on for sure. But it's got such a good energy about it. It just feels so relaxing here. I actually got a job. I'm so excited. Um, it's at this nonprofit called Land Paths that's based out of Santa Rosa. And it's a nonprofit that does conservation work but also prioritizes community work and getting people into nature that don't normally have those opportunities. I'd be working on like a crew of three people doing a lot of like fuels reduction stuff, but I would also get to be involved with just working with underserved communities, which is really interesting to me because I have been thinking a lot about how the work I do is really important to me, but I have been thinking a lot about how to incorporate the use of cultural burning or just get involved in that and learn more about it from the people who have actually done it, indigenous people, and learn from them directly. And I feel like this is a really good step in the right direction for me. Land Paths has connection to working with indigenous tribes and then just their local communities in that area. Um, a lot of them, English is not their first language too, so being able to learn Spanish and communicate with people through a different language is something I'm really interested in as well. So it kind of has the aspects of conservation that I'm looking for, but then it has a lot of other things that I think will help me grow as a person. I feel like it's fundamental to who I am because I am half Puerto Rican, but I am very far removed from that because my mother's family had to uh, assimilate when they moved to the United States. I really want to get back to that. I've been trying to read a little bit more literature about Puerto Rico and the Taino people and just where those roots within myself come from. The interview I did yesterday, it was just like an amazing experience. I did an in-person interview. They asked me to meet them at this place called the Bayer Farm, which is a community garden. And they manage the community garden there and they work with neighborhoods and families and stuff to plant food there and then har help harvest it and everything. And so we were just inside of this like big community garden while doing this interview and it was so cool. Uh, it's the most impressive community space I've ever seen. It was really, really big. They even had like, you know, outdoor grills and stuff, but they had like pizza ovens out there. They had a tiny little like skate park street section. They had like this really cool playground, um, lots of space to like run around a basketball court. Um, and then this just, I mean, it was a gigantic garden. Half of it was communal, so you could like go in there and grab whatever you wanted, but it was just like really well cared for. Really appreciated the experience a lot, and I'm really looking forward to working with all of them because everyone just seems so cool, and, and uh, I feel like I could really learn a lot from these people, which is something I want, and I, I feel like I need it right now just to get back into the pace of stuff and, I don't know, do something different. So I'm really looking forward to that.